Hey everybody, welcome back to Fixing with a Kid. I wanted to show you something real quick. A friend of mine brought this lawnmower in, asked me to fix it. He had gas in his oil. So I took the dipstick out and sure enough it was full of gas. So what causes that? Well, I'm going to show you. If you've got gas in your oil and your lawnmower, this may just be your problem. So this is a Briggs & Stratton. 17 and a half horsepower and uh, here's the carburetor it actually has Briggs and Stratton stamped into the carburetor so what happens is a couple of things the main cause of that here's your fuel inlet this is your floating bowl that's underneath this right here on the bottom here is your back anti-backfire valve this is not what causes it to fill up with gas that just shuts it off so when you turn your engine off it doesn't backfire so I want to show you what could be a possible cause. I've already had this apart. I'm just going to show you. I have the carburetor off of the engine. So this is the bowl. It sits on there like this. This is the bowl. It fills up with gas. Okay. Now this is the float needle and seat that operates like a toilet in the back of the back of the toilet. So when it fills up, it lets gas come in, and the gas fills it up and shuts it off. Well, on this particular carburetor, it's in two pieces. So when you take this part off, here's where the gas comes in. It comes in through this port right here, and this right here goes into that port. And what stops the gas... is a little o-ring that goes on this plastic right there and if you can see it hopefully you can see it yeah. the o-ring is decayed away and distorted and that allowed the gas to go past this o-ring into the carburetor the carburetor can't stop the gas it fills up into the engine and uh, you go to run the lawnmower and your oil is full of gas. You might be wondering how does the gas get into the oil? This is where the carburetor attaches. This is the intake manifold. It runs into the head and that's where your valves are. And then it just leaks past the valves into the bottom of the engine. Again, this is a Briggs & Stratton 17 and a half, but applies to others with the same type carburetor. Now one thing you can do is put a shut off on your line. You can put an inline shut off when you're not using it, you can shut it off. To repair this, you need a new O-ring and uh, that'll fix it. You need to make sure you drain the gas and oil out and you can make a mess doing that because if you let the gas thin out your oil, it will not have the viscosity that it normally is supposed to have, and it will cause your engine actually to burn up. So there you go. I hope that helps some of you. The needle and seat is right here. It goes up and down and shuts that off, but if that's not sealing it, if that doesn't seal up, if that O-ring fails, you're going to have gas in your oil. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching Fixing with a Kid. Thanks for watching.